Hey kids, how's things going at home? We sure miss you around here. And everybody's getting a little crazy right now. There's not enough stuff to do. You played with all your toys. You're driving mom crazy. You watch all the TV shows. I've got a good project for your family to do together. Today we're gonna make giant bubbles. Now, I've bought a bubble wand on Amazon. Now you can get giant bubble wands at the dollar store and they're like a dollar. And they work fine, but they're not really that great. So before we make the bubble mix, I'm gonna show you the bubble wands. Now you can get these on Amazon. I'll show you what they look like. And I don't remember the name. You'll just have to look by pictures. They telescope like this, woo, right? And they have a little clip on the end. And this wand set comes with three ropes. So you have one for making lots of bubbles at one time. And there's one for making three giant bubbles at one time. Oh, that one's in the middle. There we go. And my favorite is the one to make huge bubbles, this big. And they just clip on the ends of these wands. Super easy. Although parents, I have a hint for this too. If you want to use different ropes, this thing gets super slippery when it's full of soap. And so I actually have two wand sets so I can have one rope hooked up and then I can hook up another rope and have everything ready to go. So, and you're going to dip it into the bucket like this. And then when you lift it up, you open the wand and you the wind can take the bubbles out or you can move it like this. And we'll go outside in a little bit and we'll, we'll actually blow some bubbles. But let's get to the mixture have a bucket. Here's what you're going to need. Dishwashing detergent. I really recommend Dawn because it seems to work the best, uh, but, but feel free to try any other kind that you like. We're going to need one cup of this. We're going to need cornstarch that your parents use to make gravy and things like that. We're going to use baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. We're gonna use glycerin. This is, um, it's a little bit hard to find it in the store sometimes, but you can order on Amazon. This little bottle was about $8 and there's enough in here to make like a hundred batches. So it'll last a long time. And guar gum. This is guar gum and it's a food additive. It's used as a thickening agent in gravy and pudding and things like that. We're not gonna eat anything today, but we are gonna use it to get really strong bubbles. So we'll start out with our dishwashing detergent. It's a little bit easier if we just take the top off and pour it in. So what we're gonna do before we add any water, we're gonna add all these other ingredients together and mix it up. And it looks like a cloudy blue liquid. So there's one cup of dishwashing detergent. You wanna kinda of get your finger in there and make sure you get it all, because you really need that whole cup. All right, next, let me get a towel. All right, next we'll do the cornstarch, because that's the next biggest ingredient. Cornstarch, we're going to need one quarter cup. In the goes. After that, we're going to need a tablespoon of baking powder. All of these things, besides for the, um, well, I guess I have one, one tablespoon less, so I'm just going to dump it out, but you need one tablespoon of this. All these added ingredients are what makes the bubbles extra strong. Next, we need one teaspoon of the guar gum. It's like a off-white powder. Try to level it off. And then we're gonna need our teaspoon again. Now we're gonna add a teaspoon of glycerin. This is used in like um, lotions and things like that to make things um, softer but it also makes the bubbles much stronger. 
And I found out that if I just do a little extra, it helps with the bubbles because not all of it will come out of here. All right, now once we've got that all together, we're gonna mix that up and I'll turn it and show you what it looks like. So you can see it's like a, like a sky blue color. Get all those dry ingredients mixed in as well as you can. There we go, nice and creamy. When you have that done, then you're gonna add 12 cups of hot water. You might want mom and dad to help with this because you want that water coming out of the sink that's as hot as you can get it. I'm gonna just put in one cup. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to do 11 more cups of water. I'm not gonna make you sit and watch the whole water pouring thing. But when you put the water in, you don't want to get a lot of foam in this mixture. Foam it will mess up the bubbles a little bit. So stir it gently. And I also recommend pouring the water in at an angle down the side of the bucket so that it doesn't splash so much and then it won't be so foamy. All right, and then once you've got your 12 cups of water mixed in, then wait one hour. That, that hour helps the mixture to gel together a little better and then you're gonna get better bubbles. So mix that up after you get done, one hour, and then it's time to go outside and blow some bubbles. Okay kids, it's been one hour and we're outside in the yard and we're gonna blow some bubbles. Uh, one thing I wanted to remember to tell you is you won't use this whole mix in one shot. So you're gonna need a container. I have like an empty paint. Uh, bucket or a paint uh, bottle and I usually store it in here what you'll notice is after it sits in here for a little while the baking I mean the cornstarch rather the cornstarch will come out and it'll end up down on the bottom and you'll see a white layer down here and then the bubble mix will stop being cloudy and it'll be clear light blue you want to take a stick and gently stir that back together until it's that milky blue color and then you're ready to go all right, let's give it a try. These are the best bubbles ever. And when you get a wand, you can practice with it. First, just let bubbles come out. But you can also pinch off bubbles. And you can also blow a bubble inside of a bubble, and I'll see if I can show you that. Well, if the wind lets me have one. <laughs> that didn't work. We might have to do this a couple of times. Let's try one more. And you know, you can practice it however you want. I'll come up real close, and here we go. Have fun playing with them. Oop. Stay safe inside or outside, but have fun, all right? <laughs> all right, see you next time. Bye bye.